Are you serious? Are you serious? This situation about the 188-day earthquake cycle, I know I did a video on this already, and I told you it's coming April 2nd, 2013, will be the seventh time that we've had the date for the 188-day earthquake cycle. Now, I've been covering it since it began in Concepcion, Chile, back in uh, 2010, and we've had it happen, a mega quake six consecutive times on the 188th day. And that included that 8.8 .8 earthquake in Concepcion, Chile, and that 8.9 earthquake that hit Japan that killed 28,000 people and shook Tokyo for six minutes and brought a tsunami inland six miles and left six nuclear reactors melting down and, and moved the earth off its axis 4.8 inches and knocked Japan, the island, eight feet so, I mean, and look, I understand that we're living in times of biblical prophecy and Jesus said there would be wars and rumors of wars and nation would rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There'd be famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. All of these are just beginning of sorrow and the persecution that's coming upon Christians and Jews around the world. Well, Stephen of Oklahoma has got another report for me that was... Um, I didn't see this report until after I did the video, but I had to come back with this. Uh, residents are being urged to prepare for two weeks on their own for a massive earthquake in Los Angeles, California. And I just said earlier, I didn't know this report was out, but I had just said it to you in my last video I did to this morning, that I'm concerned about California. And it's not a prophecy, but it's just the fourth corner of these... Um, Quakes, it's hit. It's the missing corner. Now, I did hit Alaska. That was close. But I'm just being honest with you. This is uh, an issue that I need we need to, especially in the fact that there was a 4.7 earthquake that hit LA yesterday. Today, of course, is March 13, 2000, and March 12, 2013. All right, now, people from Los Angeles to Tokyo have been gathering to honor the victims of the devastating earthquake and tsunami that struck Japan two years ago. Uh, KNX 1070's Claudia Pachuca reports a memorial service was held Sunday near Little Tokyo in Los Angeles, included a panel discussion on how residents in the Southland can prepare for the next major quake. Displays outside of the LAPD headquarters uh, recalls the 211 quake that left uh, 18,000, it was actually 28,000 people dead and destroyed over 300,000 homes, including a plague underscoring the ongoing recovery for residents in Tokyo region of Japan. Fire officials were on hand to remind the public of what a similar quake could mean for Southern California. A lot of people don't realize that we are earthquake prone and in California, but we also could get a tsunami. Los Angeles County Fire Assistant Chief David Stone said, quote, we just haven't had one in a long time. Residents were urged to prepare for a number of disastrous scenarios, including how to cope for being at least two weeks on your own. Two weeks on your own? Can I ask a question? You mean to tell me the Obama administration would just leave the entire city of Los Angeles in a massive disaster for two weeks on their own? Well, go ask New Jersey, Hurricane Sandy, freak storm that came in there, that Frankenstorm. People were without power for six weeks. They fell all alone. Um, our government's in trouble, and we can't. Our government can't look at Katrina. So I'm not going to pick on just Obama. Look at Katrina and the Bush administration. I mean, we our government is broke, busted, and disgusted. It's broken. Washington D.C. is broken. The message for a lot of us needs to be: be ready for anything. You know what you need to be ready for? Because earthquakes are coming. 
natural disasters, tsunamis, cyclones, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, volcanoes, meteorites crashing in the sky. How about this? Dead birds, dead fish, dead cows. Instead of worrying about a zombie apocalypse, why don't you get ready for what's really coming up on the land? What you really need to get prepared for is get your soul right with Jesus Christ. What you really need to do is get born again. Don't put your faith in some political party. Don't put your faith in some man. Don't put your faith in some your 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 your. Uh, don't put your faith in some religion. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, rose from the dead, is sitting on the right hand of God right now, and is making intercession for the saints of God, and soon is going to return with power and great glory. Please, find the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Um, the message is for us, we need to be prepared for anything, said Battalion Chief Larry Collins. The message used to be 72 hours, but we've seen disasters like Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Sandy recently. Really, if it's wiped out of your infrastructure, your electricity grids, your communications, it will be very likely to be more than three weeks. Oh, I thought you said be ready for two weeks. Now three weeks before you start getting food, water, and other supplies coming in from the outside. In other words, our, our government has completely let us down. Our government, the United States of America, emergency system is broken. Don't count on it. Prepare for two weeks on your own. Prepare for three weeks on your own. Prepare for a month on your own. Just don't look, don't actually prepare for never to get any help. Don't worry, but we're going to raise your taxes. Let's raise them again. It's time to raise them some more. We're trying to stimulate the economy. So raise the, so the best way to do that is raise taxes. That's what we keep hearing. But what about Medicare? Cut it. Well, what about old people, the, the elderly's um, medicines? Cut them. Well, what about necessary surgeries, death panels? Well, what about the microchip? You need it. Why? So we can better take care of you. Well, why do I need a microchip for you to better take care of me in the Obamacare bill when you can't take care of me anyway? You know what I say? Obamacare, beware. Say it with me again. Obamacare, beware. Say it one more time. Obamacare, beware. The microchip thing in the law, H.R. 4872 and H.R. 3590 was supposed to be implemented. The microchip. They can't even get this done. It was supposed to be done the 23rd of March. Every citizen of America. That's what the bill says. That's why Nancy Pelosi said, look, we got to pass it to see what's in it. When they first passed this Obamacare bill, it was 2,300 pages, 2,200 pages. Today, it's 4,200 pages. It's growing every day. They have to keep adding more procedures on how to implement what they originally passed. And don't worry, you're not going to get a microchip, it don't look like, by the 23rd of March. But what they did was they extended it. They wrote into the bill... It needs to be done no later than March 23rd, 2013, or at the discretion of the Secretary of Health and Human Services and the conjunction with the Surgeon General, no later than December 31st, 2017. So any time between the 23rd of March of 2013 and the 31st of December, 2017, they have the fluctuation, the flexibility to implement the what I call the mark of the beast technology. I'm not saying it's the mark of the beast, but it certainly is going to require a technology. But folks, they're not worried about getting you food and water. They're worried about controlling how much pop you drink in New York, the big gulp. Don't drink more than 16 ounces. They're worried about giving kids... Slices of apples instead of Happy Meals with French fries. They're worried about all these little things. But they're not worried about getting you real food and water in a disaster. They're worried about getting you though under control, getting you regulated, getting you counted, getting you understood. They want you to understand them. It's all about control. That's called the beast. The new world order, the one world government. The Bible predicted it was coming. It's on its way. Give your life to Jesus Christ. There's an earthquake coming. There's an earthquake coming. There's earthquakes coming. I don't know where. I don't know when. They're coming. Jesus said it. Give your life to Jesus Christ.